Hey Pile One, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm going to be your reader today and we are back with another pick a card reading about the person on your mind. We're going to be tapping to the energy of you and your person's connection. We're going to find out what their intentions are, what their feelings are, what their next steps might be. See if we can pick up on some possible timing, okay? Just keep in mind, you guys, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave anything behind that doesn't. If you want something a little bit more personalized to you and your person's connection, just check the description box below for booking details. Uh, I actually have a lot of $25 readings available, okay? Very affordable. All right, let's get going with the overall energy of what is going on in this connection. You guys chose the passion uh, worry stone. I believe this is a uh, blood stone. Yeah. Okay. So I'll we'll pop this beautiful guy over here. And so the overall energy we've got, we got strings. Okay. We got strings. And we're going to be tapping into what that means. Let's find out an overall, um, let's do an energy check in real quick to make sure you guys got the right pile. Whoa. We got a lot coming out. We got first love boundaries money is tight and we also have addiction definitely picking up on a lot yeah and, and passion that might be kind of like maybe that's the glue that might be holding this connection together like as far as the strings go, um, your person may feel like where you are concerned, um, they may feel like, you know, they're a puppet on a string. Mm. The energy that's coming through for your person, pile one, is that um, whether or not this is an actual first love, that's how you are making them feel. Something about this connection feels very intense, feels very fiery. Um, we've got new love experiences, first true love, no one compares to you. There's this overall feeling here of definitely picking up on the new love experiences, like they're... they're experiencing something with this connection they haven't experienced anywhere else and it may be throwing them for a loop of course we're gonna um clarify all of this energy to see what's going on we got money is tied in addiction so i'm kind of curious to see i feel like these two are connected i don't know if, if your person has a legitimate addiction to alcohol or substances or something like that it could also just be they're feeling like they're addicted to you <laughs> with this passion and the strings here. All right. But like I said, we're going to, we are going to clarify this energy. Why is first love here for power one's person? I am picking up their feeling things for you. They haven't felt in a long time, if ever. Okay, pile one. Why is first love here? Whoa. Yeah, I'm okay. We got the devil in reverse coming out, you guys. I feel like your person, and this is definitely connecting over here with addiction. Like I said, for some of you, this could be, especially, I don't know if you guys are feeling like you are, but for first love, actually, with the combination of the devil in reverse here. What I, the energy I'm picking up is they feel like they're in over their heads with this connection. Money here uh, coming up like it's an issue for them. I don't know if maybe um, they're feeling they don't make enough money to be a good provider. Maybe they just feel like they're not measuring up. They may have some destructive behaviors here that they're needing to work through. They could be at gambling, since we do have addiction and money here. There could be a, an addiction to spending, um, overspending, an addiction to shopping, gambling, you know, stuff like that. Or it could just be that they have an addiction to something that is causing them to spend more money than what they should be. But as far as their feelings for you, especially with the devil in reverse and 
and the Eight of Wands here, I'm almost feeling pile one like you. You are their addiction because we have addiction here, but then we have the devil in reverse underneath first love. And with the Eight of Wands here, that's where I'm picking up on like they're, they feel like they're in over their heads. See, I feel like they want to spoil you. That's the energy that's coming through. And they don't have the funds. They feel they don't have the funds to do it. Why is boundaries here for pile one? Oh, I don't want to take those. Let's see. I don't want to take those. <laughs> All right, so we got the king of wands in reverse. We got the four of swords. And then we also have the ace of wands. It's almost like they're needing to take a break from all of this um, physical intimacy. I don't know if you guys have just been going at it <laughs> like nonstop or if it's just the amount of passion they're feeling for you. Like setting healthy boundaries, no more enabling. I'm almost feeling like they're, they're so maybe you know if you're here and the connection between you and your person is slowed because with the four of swords this can mean communication has slowed down um some for some of you it can mean communication has stopped um what this person may be doing is taking time out to rest and recover i'm really feeling like something about this connection is taking your person for a loop pile one The King of Wands in reverse. They want to be confident. They want to feel confident. Let me get, let me clarify that. Why is the King of Wands in reverse here? The Queen of Wands in reverse. They really do want to be a, an equal match. They're, they don't feel like they are. And with the Four of Swords here, there's almost this, this feeling that they need to take time out or they're needing to take a break to almost replenish their energy. That could mean replenish their energy in terms of, you know, physically. Um, replenish their energy in terms of energetically. Maybe things in this connection got hot and heavy and intense, like really fast. And maybe the two of you have rarely spent any time apart or it's just been nonstop texting, you know, energy exchanges back and forth since the two of y'all met. And it's like they've, they're tapped out on resources energetically and maybe even, you know, money wise, like they're having to, um, put a stop to certain, to certain behaviors within this connection there's just this feeling like they're in over their heads they're having to rest they're having to pull their energy back from this connection because their energy is depleted their resources are, you know they're depleted somehow now if they're not spending any money on you then this is talking about you know energetically sexually um things of that nature what do we have here for money is tight yeah they're in they're kind of in their heads not quite as bad they are slightly in their heads why is the eight of swords in reverse here okay so money is tight but it's not that big of an issue okay it's the money thing isn't because we have the ace of cups here with the eight of swords in reverse so they're very clear on the fact pile one that you're the one you know of anybody you're the one they they want to to spend their money on you're the one you know like in other words they're not pulling back because they feel resentful or you know they 
are resenting spending money on you if they have or you know they're not pulling their their energy back because they don't want to spend money on you they actually do they're very they're very um there's this energy coming through like whatever they have they want to give it to you because there's this you know ace of cups here a uh, new beginning it's like they they it, like it's worth it to them you and this connection are very worth it to them there's just this energy of them just not having the resources to give. What's addiction here for? Justice in reverse. Why is addiction here for? Clarify justice, please, in reverse. Okay, and I'm also being pulled over back here to the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups. Um... They're also, so while they are feeling like if they had the money, you would be the one that they would want to spend it on. There almost is this feeling here of them being like, I don't actually, you know, have, I don't, I, they're not in a financial space they feel um, to start something new. <clears throat> or before they really hit the ground running with any kind of a love connection not just this one they they're hoping they want to be in a certain space financially before um they start anything new like a new love connection with you or it just doesn't matter that's just kind of how that's where they're at mentally that's what they want they want an abundance of money they want to be able to, to spoil the person that they're with with the eight of swords in reverse here they are very clear on that they're not so much in their heads about it that's just a desire that they have um <clears throat> they may have withdrawn their energy from this connection if they did if they have withdrawn their energy from this connection if you're not really hearing from them that much <clears throat> I am picking up on the energy that they may be just focusing their attention on um, on their finances, on their business, you know, working, <clears throat> getting ahead financially, stuff like that. Why is addiction here? Why is justice in reverse here? Clarifying addiction. Explain the justice in reverse. <clears throat> There's a feeling here of having an unfair advantage. <laughs> um, how's this addiction? What does it have to do with pile one in this connection? Your person could be in a lot of debt, pile one. A lot of debt. They could owe a lot of money. Yeah, see, and we have... Um, this could actually be talking about a very real addiction to to spending, to gambling, to alcohol, to substances. Um, it, it, debt is what's coming up here, though, because your person may actually have an, an addiction to overspending. Um, and with justice in reverse here, <clears throat> it's almost like things are highly unbalanced to the point of your person feeling overwhelmed and overburdened. So you may not even know this about your person. They, I'm picking up a heap of debt that they're trying to, this uh, student loans are coming up. They could be heavily indebted to student loans, um, credit card debts. Um, and I feel like they have goals. They have goals for some of you, your person, wants to buy a house they're wanting to buy property they're wanting to they have goals right and they're needing but they have a lot of this debt is getting in their way some of them may actually be wanting to or working they're in the process of cleaning up their credit score and that's really where a lot of their energy is going your person really is like this connection may have hit them out of nowhere, okay? The energy is kind of there, especially with first love here, eight of wands and the devil in reverse. They really weren't expecting to get involved because there is this energy here with the eight of swords in reverse and the ace of cups. I feel like they were wanting to hold off on any serious commitments until they got their money situation 
figured out until they got that sorted, right? Um, <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's find out what their intentions might be moving forward. Uh, do I want to use this one or stargazer? Which one do I want to use? Actually, we're not going to use either of those. What are their intentions with pile one in this connection? Show me their intentions with pile one in this connection. Brick wall right on top of boundaries. What are their intentions with pile one in this connection? I'm getting this feeling of blocking. And I'm not saying like blocking in terms of blocking communication, blocking social media. Um, yeah, look at this brick wall mountain right on top of money is tight. Let's get one more. What are their intentions with pile one in this connection? <clears throat> There's this feeling, <clears throat> pile one, of putting this, <clears throat> either blocking this connection or putting this connection on hold. Because of these, what they feel are insurmountable, well, not necessarily insurmountable obstacles, but for them, these, the, the, the magnitude, the, you know, like, if it is debt, if it is student loan, if it's something like that, or it, even if it's addiction, like legitimate addiction to a substance, you know, alcohol, substance, something like that. It's like they're feeling the, something, there's something in their energy in terms of resources that they feel needs to be cleaned up. That has something to do with an a, addiction that may have also caused them um, money problems. Uh, we got relocation and secrets. They may have actually, they may actually be in the process of moving and they have not told you. We got relocation with a change in the home, moving to a new location, plans to relocate, relocating for work. We got secrets, moving in silence, hidden factors, lack of communication, not having all the facts. Yeah, I definitely am picking up for a lot of you. Um, this person is not communicating with you. What is going on in their life? A lot of moving in silence. Um, there's almost this feeling though, moving in silence. For some of you, especially if it has to do with addiction um, to substances, okay? Um, like they're keeping it on the down low where they're going. Maybe they're going for treatment or something. Or maybe they're having to move in secret, you know, if they're trying to clean their life up, you know, of any kind of addiction to substances, part of them cleaning their life up means removing themselves from con other connections that may have fueled that addiction. That may be what they're in the process of doing right now and they're keeping it on the download that they're moving so you know other people that may have helped to fuel this addiction they won't know where they're at so they can't just pop up and stuff like that. That's coming through for some of you, okay? Um, this relocation and the reason why they're moving in silence may have something to do with an, a feminine energy too. Okay, that's for some of you. And we got dice here with time to take risks, getting, yeah. The waiting game. There's passion again. <laughs> um, yeah, so as far as intentions go, I feel this energy of them putting putting this connection on hold. That's what I'm feeling. Like they're putting the connection on hold. Um, we're going to see if, what their next moves are towards this connection, if any. Um, I really do feel like things are in a standstill, though. 
Next Move, Boss Babe, Independent, and Strong. Okay, so they're really trying to get in control of their life. They are feeling very out of control. They're trying to um, clean up chaotic energies in their life. Um, their finances is a really big focus, regardless of what the addiction might be, though. I feel like your person is at a point in their life where they may they, they feel they may have maybe not taken things seriously in the past, just overall in their life. And maybe there's to a certain point where they're like, I really got to get my shit together. You know, <laughs> um, what are their next moves in terms of this connection with pile one? What are their next moves in terms of their connection with pile one? And that queen energy, king, queen, king, whatever, it's more of the boss, babe, independent, strong. I'm picking up more emperor kind of energy in in this you know in the context of this reading somebody who is really wanting to basically get their ish together you know become more of a responsible human being in terms of you know getting their money right getting you know getting and acquiring assets what we have lovers you're my jam they are recognizing pile one that you know, they have a close bond with you. What What's going to be their next move towards pile one? What's going to be their next move towards? Give me one more card. Next move towards pile one. They're confused. Right now, they're so focused on cleaning up their life, they don't know what their next move towards this connection is going to be. That's just where they're at. They are recognizing how they feel about you. And any progress moving forward in this connection is, is blocked right now because they're attention, their time, and their energy, they're funneling it towards this independent, strong emperor kind of energy. Emperor, you know, um, doesn't matter what the gender is. We're talking about the energy. So the person is, you know, your person is more focused on becoming a responsible adult in terms of, you know, I'm feeling like this empire, they're wanting to build an empire. It's like, I got to get busy and build an empire. That's that kind of an energy. Um, now I'm picking up energy of like, it would, you know, like as where you're concerned, pile one, it's like right person, wrong time. Huh? Okay. Let's see if we can get any direct messages from them to you. <clears throat> and then we will close out, close out your reading. What messages do you have for pile one? I regret lying to you. What messages do you have for Pile One? <clears throat> I can't do this. I'm not available. What messages do you have for Pile One? I still have feelings for you. So they're not clouded or confused about what they're feeling, okay? They're not confused about what they're feeling. They have feelings for you. For some of you, they may even love you, although I haven't really seen a lot of mature love. I mean, definitely feelings are here. Okay, there are feelings here, definitely feelings of passion. Um, I don't feel like this was a fling to them, like it was purely, you know, intimate, physical. I don't feel that's what it is. Um, they have developed feelings on some level. It just depends on where your connection is at. Um, I regret lying to you. I feel like that's coming through as they got caught up in the whirlwind of, of the passion, of the intense, um, you know, connection. 
and they may have been lying to themselves, you know, because I feel like when you met them, they may have been just starting, you know, this boss babe emperor, you know, building an empire kind of an energy. And they may have entertained the idea that maybe they could do both. Maybe they could give energy to, you know, to building an empire and then energy to building a relationship or a connection with you. And then I think what happened, Pile One, is... How am I wanting to put it? I feel like you took up a lot of their mental energy, like, you know, especially in the beginning, things were hot and heavy very quickly, and they just found themselves um, spending way more time on building this connection than they were building their empire. They may have told you that they could handle doing both. They may have said some things to you that they meant at the time that they said them that made you believe that it was safe for you to um, that it was safe for you to open up and trust in the development of this connection. I don't want to say they were purposefully misleading you. They got caught up in the moment. Like I said, they're feeling in, they, they got in over their heads is what they're feeling. They got in over their heads as far as this passion is concerned. And they may be legitimately moving. They may, they may be moving, you know, out of state, you know, farther away from you. This may have been the plan all along. You know, maybe, I don't know if they communicated that with you. But it's weird that we have relocation here with secrets, moving in silence. So, no, I guess that would mean that they didn't. They didn't communicate with you that they had plans of, of, of moving. They, this could be talking about a possible promotion if, you know, they're working for a company or a corporate of, of, some, ty of some type. Hmm. Yeah, and then we have I can't do this. They felt so much passion, so much passion with the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands. I mean, be it albeit all of that energy is in reverse, but holy crap, they felt so much passion. They had to block it out and hold it back. Because it was taking too much of their energy away from building their empire getting clean and or building up their empire those are the two things that are and i feel like they're both that's part of even if they're getting clean in terms of an addiction it's like that's like step one of building i feel like your person is on a mission to build an empire to build a legacy um and this connection just came along at the wrong time that first love energy here too could also be talking about how they're feeling about their business, how they're feeling about building their empire. Like that's their first love in terms of where all of their energy and attention and time and stuff like that is going. Cause we got queen with boss babe up here. Like their first love is themselves and their, and what I'm hearing is financial independence. They may have been financially dependent on someone else, other people, maybe their parents for some of you. And it's like, I feel like your person is in this energy of it's time for them to grow up. Okay, that's really what I'm feeling. And with I regret lying to you, for some of you, you may have been under the impression that, you know, they were already well established, right? Then we have I'm not available with block dissension, um, especially with relocation and secret here. Like it's just there. And then we have obstacles and challenges. Their energy is just, they're not available. It's its being, especially with money, is tight here. They're just, they're not available. They don't have any extra energy to give to building anything else other than, I'm just going to just call it an empire. Getting clean and building an empire. Okay? And then we have, I still have feelings for you. And I love that this came on top of like cloud, 
clouded because that's letting me know they're not confused about you. They're not confused about how they feel about you. They do think about you very fondly, especially with the Six of Cups energy here. Um, they may even feel like you're a soulmate to them. Definitely felt a very deep soulmate level kind of a connection with you, with you, but it's just like right person, very wrong timing is what I'm hearing. All right, pile one. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. I hope that it resonated. You guys, do me a favor. If it did resonate, make sure you're smashing that like button for me. It's a wonderful way to energetically donate to the channel. Also, be sure to comment below. Let me know what pile you picked, okay? And share and subscribe if you feel led to do so. I'll see you guys at your next reading. Bye, guys. Pile 2, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm going to be your reader today. We're back with another pick a card reading about the person on your mind. So we're going to tap into you and that person's connection, uh, tap into that energy and see what's going on. We're going to see what their intentions are, what their feelings are towards you, and then what their next move might be. All right. So keep in mind, y'all, it's a general reading. Take what resonates, leave behind anything that doesn't. If you are wanting something a little bit more personal and customized to you and your person's connection just check the description box below for booking details a lot of 25 dollars readings available okay so you guys picked the lapidolite gratitude worry stone then the overall energy for your this connection or this reading with this connection is support hmm very nice i love the energy it feels very sweet Oh, and then we have um, the holding of the hands here. And with one of the hands being like the hands of the universe, it almost feels like, like the universe has your back in terms of this connection. <clears throat> what we're gonna see where this is going. I'm actually picking up on a very good energy here. <clears throat> Hmm. All right, let's see. What's, let's do an energy check-in and see what is going on with this connection right now. Boundaries. This connection between pile two and their person. We got Gypsy. Let's get a couple more cards. <clears throat> Old school. And then we have all around them. So there may be um, like very much like an opposites attract kind of energy in this connection where one of you is um, very traditional, maybe very conserv conservative, not in terms of like political aff affiliation, just conservative in terms of one person's very traditional, very old school, and the other person is, is not, right? <laughs> the other person is, uh, has a very, lives a very um, unconventional lifestyle, very exotic, very mysterious, maybe moves around quite a bit, <clears throat> or travels around quite a bit. Um, but the attraction is definitely there. There's almost a, I feel like there's a, a magnetism that is drawing the two of you together. Um, let's pick up, let's see. Oh, we'll do that later. Okay. Let's kind of clarify some of this energy here though. Like what's boundaries for? We got no more enabling, feeling used. I, I am setting up healthy boundaries. I am with support and gratitude I am feeling like the foundation of this connection I'm certainly picking up on mutual respect mutual respect um, and I feel like the foundation of this connection is, is, is very healthy 
So if you, you know, if pile two, if you've been, you know, dealing with someone that's with toxic cycles and stuff like that, that, that this may not be your pile. Um, it could also very well be that, um, this could be a new phase that your connection is moving into because boundaries may have been put up, right? Um, we have strength in reverse, Leo energy. Why is boundaries here with strength in reverse? So someone in this connection, maybe in previous like in the past or previous connections didn't have very good boundaries to begin with. Um, and then we've got eight of cups. So I, neither one of you are, so there, I don't I'm not picking up on codependency vibes here. I feel both of you have very solid, reasonable, healthy boundaries and Possibly because maybe you guys, maybe you didn't in the past and it caused some very hurtful <clears throat> interactions with people. But there's like with eight of cups here, you're not afraid to walk away, right? You're not afraid to walk away from toxicity and you're not a afraid to walk away from someone who doesn't honor those boundaries with the strength in reverse here. Why is Gypsy here? With Gypsy, we have knowing the unknowable with the King of Swords, who is very clear and concise, um, especially with his communication. Why is the King of Swords clarifying Gypsy? The Page of Pentacles. One of you travels for work and or for school. And maybe that work or that school has something to do with open, honest communication. It can have something to do with like PR work. What, what is PR work? Um, <laughs> I know what PR work is, but I forget at this moment what PR stands for. So anyway. Um, an unconventional lifestyle. Yeah, I just, I feel like one of you is always on the move and one of you is always on the go. The other person, mm, I don't know. I, I just feel like it works for you guys though. Heavy on the communication. You may, you know, someone may go and travel to different cities, different countries, different states, you know, different provinces to train people. <clears throat> Or to teach people things. Hmm. Uh, why is old school here? Pile two, if that's you, or you know, you'll have to let me know what it is you or the other person does for a living. I'm very intrigued by that. My Sagittarius Sun and Mercury are like, what kind of work do you do, or does the other person do, or y'all just travel and just train people and you know i'm very interested let me know in the description box below or comment box below <clears throat> sagi wants to know why is old school here why is old school here for favor i'm being drawn to take takes things slow this may be a slow burn of a connection. Both of you may be, especially with boundaries here, may be taking your time to get to know each other. Some of you may not have even gotten physically intimate with your person yet, but even if you have, I just kind of feel like things are being, things are unfolding very slowly. 
And I feel like that's a, it's a mutual thing. Why is old school here? <clears throat> uh, with old fashioned thinking and takes dating seriously, I am feeling like this is, whether it's been communicated or not, I, I do feel like this is like an exclusive kind of a connection. I don't feel like either one of you are really dealing with other people. Not saying that you guys have had that, that communication where you have officially closed the door off to other options. I just don't feel like either one of you are dealing with, you know, anyone other than each other. Why is old school here? Pile two, though, and this is just my opinion. <laughs> You take it or leave it, okay? If you have not had that discussion, that exclusive commitment discussion with your person, if that's what you're just expecting, definitely make sure you have that uh, that, that discussion, okay? So you make sure y'all are on the same page, which I, I feel like you are, but it's always good to reiterate and affirm things through communication. All right, we have, yeah, okay, the nine of wands why is old school here yeah so i feel like the two of you are taking time out taking things slow with the purpose of really getting to know each other before things get very serious it's like i really feel see i feel two very healthy people in terms of um, the way you guys are approaching, you know, romantic connections. I don't feel like this is just getting lost in the moment in a whirlwind of, you know, emotion and stuff like that. I really feel very too responsible. Like I'm picking up on pentacle energy in terms of how you, the two of you are approaching this connection. I feel like commitment on both sides is the desired outcome and but both of you are being very um eyes wide open in terms of you know it's like in order for me to really get to know this person it's going to take some time right because possibly in the past especially with the nine of wands here taking things slow because there's this energy of having had some rough experiences with relationships in the past, possibly as a result of rushing in too fast, rushing into commitments and exclusivity too fast before, you know, the two of you, you know, before you really got to know the other person. Why is old school here? So one or both of you have had some really, um, challenging experiences in love connections in the past yeah with the ten of wands ten of wands in reverse so it's like possibly in the past especially with the ten of wands in reverse it's almost like wanting to make sure that the connection is adding to your experience of life in a good way rather than taking away you know not wanting the connection to be another burden not wanting to feel like it's a chore so the two of you are really really taking some time to get to know each other to kind of find your footing both of you have the eyes on you know long term and at the same time, it's like, okay, taking things very slow, making sure that, you know, as a couple, the two of you are really, truly compatible, that, you know, you're able to, because I feel like both of you have a, you know, your head space as ter in terms of connection is very sturdy. Like, you have a really good head on your shoulders when it comes to relationships and I'm hearing now because it may not it may have been this is like maybe a difficult lesson that he, you had to learn especially with this nine of wands here um you know realizing that you don't really get to know who a person truly is until <laughs> you know challenges arise and usually you know challenges 
in a relationship don't normally or, or in a connection don't normally arise you know early on so yeah why is uh, all around them here explain all around them So as far as like their feelings, <laughs> I, I am picking up on the intention here. The, their intentions towards you, Pile 2, in this connection is to get to know you. Um, the intention here is to really see how well the two of you fit together as a couple. They do have their eyes on long term. They do have their eyes on commitment. They're just wanting to make sure, as I feel you are doing the same thing, that you know um, you truly are a match. Why is all around them here? Your person thinks about you a lot. Although they don't, they may not show it too well. Why is the King of Cups in reverse here? They may be, um, they may not be very affectionate. Why is the King of Cups in reverse here? So I am feeling like they're kind of holding, they're holding back. This is you then, this could be both of you. Like the ability to fall in love is here. But one or both of you are not really yet quite sure enough to completely open up. And with the six of pentacles here in reverse, this is, and the, everything here in reverse. We got the king of cups in reverse and then we have the six of pentacles in reverse with all around them. Um, how is this relating to pile two? King of Wands in reverse. Some of you may actually still be getting over a past connection. Doesn't have to be somebody that you're still in contact with but the memory of what went down in that connection is, is still very much in the forefront of your mind, their mind, both of your minds, that is causing you or them to hold back quite a bit in this connection. And it may just be that there is some, you know, healing still, the thing to be done. That could be a lot of the reasons why, too, you know, things are being taken very slowly in this connection. Um, I just feel like, yeah, with the Knight of Wands popping out, um, which the Knight of the Knight of Wands is very. I'm hearing impetuous, impulsive, can be very impulsive, you know, act now, <laughs> think later, that kind of a thing. And I feel like being in that energy has gotten you and or them in, in, in trouble in terms of getting into commitments with people that weren't really a match. And it may have caused some damage financially, emotionally, mentally energetically, spiritually, karmically, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I just feel like with all around them, I feel this is speaking more of a past connection. It's like someone in this connection is having a hard time moving things forward, really opening up their heart, giving to the connection in a very equal way. Um, could be this gypsy person, maybe part, you know, if that's you, yeah, you know, I'm just communicating <laughs> the, the message as it's coming through. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay. Um, the gypsy person though, the person that moves around a lot for work, um, could actually be using that as an excuse as to why they're not really able to, um, get closer to the other person. 
It's almost like a protective, a self-protective measure, but I don't actually feel like it's in a toxic way though. I feel like overall, especially with gratitude and support, I actually feel overall the energy here is very self-supporting instead of sabotaging. And so even though, you know, the gypsy person may be using it as an excuse, I feel like the overall energy here is very responsible because it's like, you know, we don't want to rush into things. We really want to take time to get to know each other. We want to get to know our dynamics as a couple. We want to get to know how we handle challenges that inevitably pop up in the connection. We want to get to know how, you know, the other person reacts when they're not getting their way. So there really is kind of like a responsible you know, energy that is, I feel like both on both sides, but one person, it could be both though, it could be both of you, is really still having a hard time um, really trusting and opening up and, and giving more of themselves in the connection because of experiences in the past, okay? Uh, let's see what we want to do. <clears throat> What are their intentions towards pile two? We got good news. Renewal. So pile two, if you are not currently, and I did pick up a little bit of that energy in the very beginning. Like this, could, you may be checking up on somebody that you had a connection with. That connection, you know, went stale um, and maybe y'all broke up or there's some kind of a separation there. And this is like new energy that's flushing in, right? New energy in the connection that's coming in with renewal here. I'm also picking up resurrection for some of you. Um, what are their intentions? With renewal here, I'm really looking at playing with fire, release of energy and emotion. Um, I am looking, as far as intentions go, Pile 2, I do feel like your person, especially if they haven't been very affectionate, they haven't been really open emotionally, I do feel they're going to make the decision. Um, if they haven't made it <clears throat> already and communicated to open, them, open that part of themselves, to open that part of themselves up to you and in this connection, adding fuel to the fire, adding emotion to the mix, right? What are, so their intentions pile two are to open up more, okay? To be more emotionally accessible and available to you. Pile two's person, what are your intentions with pile two? And yes, renewal could also speak of, um, you know, resurrecting, uh, a com you know, resurrection and communication and stuff like that. Uh, we got thorns. Okay, so we got thorns in a third party. For those of you who may be in a third party situation or, and we have third party on all around them, so this could be talking about, like I said, it's not necessarily, uh, they're with a third party because I am picking up on the energy where y'all are have closed the doors not officially I'm not yeah I haven't really picked up that an official um closing the doors to other options like that I haven't picked up on that that energy there but there is this feeling like neither one of you are really dealing with any anybody else except for each other third party is coming through on top of all around them letting me know that energy of a past connection where things may have gone really bad, really fast or sour, right? Um, that's, that's what all around them is, you know, and that may, that may be why, or is why this person, you and or them have been holding back emotionally from the, this connection. We got thorns here with a painful sacrifice, hard choices to prevail, life is testing you, suffering for a goal. Why is thorns here? Okay. 
So we got thorns and then toxicity. We got toxic situations, people, it's time to purge, having a toxic mindset and dead in relationships. So there may have been connections um, with other people that they're needing to let go of. Could be on your side too. Letting go and ending, severing toxic situations and people that may be serving as a boundary to this connection. For some of you, it doesn't even have really have to be a person. It can just be an old way of thinking, right? But we do have thorns, toxicity, and then third party here. Um, some of you, you and or your person may still be connected to the third party um, somehow. And I'm hearing boundaries need to be set with that person like maybe you have kids with someone they got kids with somebody somebody in their life it could be family members who may have had a negative effect or some kind of a toxic influence on you and or them right and needing to draw lines in the sand where that connection is concerned for some of you it's just cutting this person off altogether no matter who they are in life, um, to the best of your ability. If you got kids with somebody and, you know, you're co-parenting that you can't really, um, can't really cut them off that way, but definitely drawing hard lines in the sand, hard boundaries where it's like, and sticking to them, right? And there may be, with thorns here, a painful sacrifice there may be backlash coming as a part, you know. So you and or your person may have been holding off on really setting up boundaries with a past third party out of fear of backlash, out of fear of legal issues or something like that. And it's like, um, that's gonna be faced, right? For the benefit of this connection cutting off toxic people, toxic connections, um, purging toxic mindsets and, and um, built up, pent up emotions and stuff, things of that nature. Um, <clears throat> let's see what their next move is gonna be. What's your next move? Towards pile two. They got loyal with trustworthy, reliable, honors you. Oh, we got quality time. Yeah, um, and this is their, this is them towards you. This is what they want with you. And I love that loyalty came out because that's letting me know this third party is past energy, okay? They're not romantically involved with any third parties. The third party may have just been you know, kind of like a thorn in their side in terms of making things difficult for them when they're trying to, you know, forge other romantic connections. Um, next move towards pile two, please. <laughs> and then we got worst nightmare with karmic connection on top of thorns, toxicity. And uh, that on top of old school is letting me know your person tried to do right by this third party many times. Like they tried to sever things off the right way. They may have been married to this third party. They may have kids with a third party and they're trying to do things the right way, right? The third party is causing issues though for them, with especially with the worst nightmare and karmic connection. I'm picking up on baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, stuff like that, okay? Um, jealous ex-wife or jealous ex-husband, you know, spiteful spouse, stuff like that. And they're getting ready to put, your person's getting ready to put their foot down or they have been putting their foot down. I'm hearing for some of them legally. Like when I say they're drawing hard boundaries, hard lines in the sand, they're having to have a court back them up somehow, okay, um, against this third party. Hmm. So yeah, let's next move towards, and they're doing that for the benefit of this connection. 
love sick they miss you if the two of you are not really in communication or if they're away you know if whatever's going on they miss you we got love sick here with void emptiness heartbroken but we have here that you know for those of you where your person like this connection is on a break um they are focusing on self-love and self-care as far as this being the next move towards you in this connection it's like i i have to heal myself i've got to take some time away clean up some you know toxic messy chaotic energies in my life I feel like they're taking, they're making space within themselves to create space for you in their life, if that makes sense. That's what they're doing. So their next move right now, what they're doing is they are, um, they're cleaning their life up of toxic energies. They're making space in their heart, making space in themselves. They want to be more emotionally available to you. Um, energetically av available to you in this connection they definitely want commitment here right just you just them and they want to spend more quality time with you they're definitely missing you okay pile two let's get some <clears throat> direct messages from them to you <clears throat> They wonder how you feel. What messages do you have for pile two, please? Whoa. I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, we also have, I have too much to lose. This was how they were feeling in the past in regards to really putting their foot down with this, this third party that I feel I'm feeling up now that this third party is toxic or has been toxic a toxic influence in your person's life um I wish I could take back my words we'll get one more I can't reach out so some of you are in separation I'll clarify these real quick because there are a couple of things here I'm like what <clears throat> I don't want to know and we got the Phoenix here which is more of that resurrection energy why is I don't want to know here <clears throat> or what is that about what is I don't want to know here there's something they're not wanting to know and it may have It's a weird kind of energy, but it's almost like if they are taking time out from this connection to, and this may have been something that the two of you talked about, maybe they know, like if you are in separation, they don't want to know if you're dating anybody else because they're kind of in this space where they don't want to, <clears throat> They don't want to jeopardize this this healing, this energetic clearing that's going on in their life. Um, <clears throat> Why is I don't want to know here? <clears throat> They, <clears throat> they truly are seeing forever. I actually wasn't going to say forever. I was going to say long term. Okay, for some of you, your person sees like marriage. They see forever with you. Um, okay, keys on a ring. Many options. Yeah, they don't want to know that you're dating. This may be another one of the reasons. This may have been something that the two of you have talked about, like taking a break and stuff like that. Like, they're one of the reasons why they may not be in contact with you right now is because they know you're free to date others if you want to and they're not 
I mean, it's weird. It's a weird energy to be in, but it's almost like they're not, you know, they don't want to know if you're giving your time and your attention and your energy to somebody else, even though they know you have the right to, because it, they feel like it would mess with their stabilizing energy. They're trying to stabilize themselves, I feel, um, heal themselves from, you know, past connections or, the, you know, what happened in past connections and stuff like that. For some of you, your person may actually be, um, here's butterfly, more transformation. Yeah, your person may be in a treatment program of some kind, whether it's mental health, addiction, or something like that. And I just feel like for some of you that are watching this, your person's having to had to take a break from this connection to deal with this toxic third party energy, number one. And number two, they realize it's like, they don't have a lot of emotional your person realizes that they've been emotionally unavailable and they're wanting to fix that uh, i wish i could take back my words why is that here for some of you your person could literally be like on a retreat somewhere and that's why they can't reach out right they have these kinds of retreats where you go and it's like you can't you know, they literally may not have any kind of signal. They may be in a recovery treatment program. Um, they may just be keeping things on the low while they're dealing with this third party, trying to get this third party, you know, influence um, mitigated. Date, yeah, I wish I could see. I feel like, so you guys may have had a conversation. It's like, you know, they, they wish they could take back maybe they told you you know i don't know but dating here this is taking me to telling you it's okay if you wanted to see somebody else or almost like giving you their blessing or something like that this person's feeling lovesick here um and it's almost like why did i tell them that <laughs> um yeah, but we have not today. Like, your person, they're going back and forth. Like, you know, they don't want to keep you strong. They don't want to string you along or anything like that. They're just hoping but by the time they get everything with the third party, this this toxic karmic in their life. Uh, yeah, see, we got paradise, that cut right there. Because they see happiness with you. Your person almost wishes that they were able to, you know, still have a working connection here. Hmm. But as far as like their next move and intentions, I mean, this person loves you. You know, um, if not love, then it's definitely some deep, deep feelings. Especially with this lovesick uh, energy here. I am picking up your person as quite the romantic. They may not have been showing you that side of themselves. But that has been because they have been emotionally closed off. I'm hearing for some time. For quite some time. Due to having to deal with this toxic energy in their life. May have been like an ex-spouse. Or you know co-parenting with a toxic you know baby mama baby, baby daddy kind of thing. And something about this connection with you really kind of showed them like they don't have a lot to give emotionally, energetically, because a lot of it is going towards trying to keep things from exploding in this other connection with someone I feel they still have some kind of a legal tie to, whether it's kids, whether they're still legally married or something like that. Okay, you guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading there. I hope that it resonated. If it did, be sure to smash that like button for me <laughs> okay it's a wonderful way to energetically donate towards the channel comment below let me know what pile you picked let me know how it resonated share and subscribe if you feel led to do so i'll see you guys at your next reading thanks pile two hi pile three welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is michelle i'm going to be your reader today we're tapping into 
uh, whomever is on your mind and the energy of the connection that you guys share. So um, we're just going to be seeing what their feelings are towards you and about this connection, what their intentions are and what their next move is going to be, okay? Uh, another your person pick a card video. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just keep in mind you guys It's a general reading. So take what resonates leave behind anything that doesn't if you're interested interested in something More customized to you and your person's connection. Just check the description box below for booking details um, There's a lot of $25 readings available. Okay, so you guys picked the rose court worry stone with goddess stamped on it and then the card here we have is influence which is letting me know that you have a lot of influence on your person, especially with this goddess energy. This is like empress energy. You have a lot more influence over your person <laughs> than you might know. I mean, you may already know this. Like I, I feel almost feel like this person um, I'm picking up on. Um, I'm hearing addicted to you. Okay. Your person may be addicted um, to your energy. Uh, let's see. So we're going to do an energy check-in. Let me see where your person is at in regards to this connection with you. Oh, I don't know if I want to take all those. We'll do that again. We'll do that again. Pile one's person. Or sorry, pile three's person. memories feelings of nostalgia pleasure and sadness stuck in the past <clears throat> Whoa, okay we have ooh, engagement <laughs> we got traps let's go all right and lessons and we're going to clarify all this energy i'm definitely picking up pile three your person thinks about you quite a bit they may be, and we're, we're going to clarify all this energy to see what is going on here in terms of what their feelings are towards you in this connection. What's up with memories? I just saw the tower at the back of the deck. Okay. What's memories here for? So this may be a past connection, you guys, that you have with somebody. You may not actually be in communication with someone or with this person. Um, I know even if you are in communication, I don't. Hmm. Let's see. What's going on with memories? Things were definitely very passionate between the two of you, almost like a, whirl, a whirl, <laughs> whirlwind. They were very attracted, very attracted to you, okay? Um, probably more than they had ever been with attracted to anybody else. Um, we got the Page of Swords in reverse. Why is memories here? I'm picking up they were just very immature. Very immature, very indecisive. Um, why is memories here? That's what they're saying. It's almost like they think back to this connection a lot. For a lot of you tuning into this pile, pile three, I am picking up for a lot of you. Your person, you and your person are not together, um, but you still have, whether you know it or not very much of an influence on your person they think back to this connection quite a bit if they're in a third party situation we got trapped here within an unpleasant situation feeling stuck cannot escape from it we'll clarify that too um they compare anyone they're dating or anybody they're with with you And with the Page of Swords here in reverse and the Two of Wands, it's like, I feel like there was a choice that needed to be made. And they're feeling like they made the wrong choice or they should have, I don't know if maybe they just effed around for too long in this connection and 
maybe you walked away or they walked away, but it's like they, they feel like they made the wrong choice. They're, that's how they feel. Why is engagement here? Actually, what I want to know was what was the wrong choice? What was that wrong choice? Moving on. Yeah. Moving away, moving on from this connection. Okay. Uh, they feel they, if they could take that back, they would. Now they're in this King of Wands. See, they're kind of, where in the past they were very much in this uh, Knight of Wands energy page of swords energy you know very indecisive very immature um see now they're like they're they've grown up since then is what they're saying they went from a knight of wands and a page of swords energy in reverse here to the king of wands in the upright position they're so they're you know they're a lot more confident now back then it was almost like they didn't have the confidence to really they weren't sure if they were doing the right thing um I'm picking up this energy. They just, they effed around for too long. And I just feel like maybe you moved on. But their decision to move away, for some of you, this could actually have been have, having moved away from you, like, you know, um, to a different location, you know, a different city, a different country, a different state, province, something like that. Um, but it could also just be moving away from the connection, right? Um, and now they're like, <laughs> they're, they've grown up. <clears throat> they've grown up and so they see things a lot differently. Um, they're in this energy now where I feel like, you know, they know what they want. They're very, they don't question themselves as much as they used to. I feel like they used to question themselves. Were they making the right decision? Stuff like that. Why is engagement here? I'm just picking up a lot of undecided energy. We got engagement, the four of swords in reverse. They may have been, um, the two of you may have actually have been engaged, may have talked about being engaged. Um, that may have been what they felt very in, indecisive about was whether or not they actually wanted to get married I'm hearing have kids and stuff like that. Maybe they told you they needed to take a break to figure things out and then the two of you never really came back together. I don't feel like, you know, the if the two of you broke up, I don't feel like it was, I don't feel like it was, uh, like cutthroat or anything like that. I feel like it was a very, especially with the six of swords here, like I feel like it was a very peaceful separation. There's the king of wands again. They've grown up. This is the energy they're in now. They actually want to get married and have kids. Whereas in the past, they may have been more resistant to it. Not really quite sure that was the direction they wanted to go in. They may have felt they were too young to get married. Well, I'm gonna clarify one more time. Why is engagement here? See, it says marriage in your future. That's what they want. They do want marriage now. Possibly even like when they think back, it's like if they could have it, they would want it with you. Mm, but with trapped energy here, I feel like they may have gotten themselves in a situation where that may not be possible. The Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords in reverse. They may be engaged to somebody else. 
that may be what's going on but whoever if they are engaged to somebody else and you you know you know about this pile of three it's like I almost feel like they're settling especially with trapped in lessons here with the ten of wands and the three of swords reversed this may have been something that already happened um If they're in a third party situation and they're engaged to this person, it's it's this the relationship, the connection with that person is more of a burden than it is anything. Hmm. And then we got the three of swords in reverse showing up here with the four of swords in reverse. There may be healing on their side for some reason. Something needs to be healed that is not healing. I almost feel like they're running away from healing to avoid conflict, possibly inner conflict with themselves. Interesting. I feel like that Ten of Wands and the, yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. They're tra definitely trapped in a situation that is making them feel overwhelmed, overburdened. They're having a hard time healing from. Why is trapped here? There's a queen of wands in reverse. Okay. <laughs> so whoever they're with, if they're with somebody right now, pile three, that person is not their match. Okay. Um, they, so... That could be that they moved on, like here for memories. Maybe they left you for somebody else. That could be what they're regretting, right? Moving on to someone else that they thought was going to be their match. They thought they were getting a Queen of Wands in the upright position, but turns out they're not. Not a match, okay? Whoever they're with is not a match. And with that lessons here, I have a feeling that's what it is. I, they're looking back on you, and they're seeing you as their match. And with this influence here with goddess, it's almost like they're seeing you as their perfect match. They're seeing you as, um, I'm picking up Empress energy here, but you know, as far as wand energy, like you would be, you know, you would be their perfect match where you were the queen of wands in the upright position or you're the king of wands in the upright position, right? The divine counterpart to them yeah if they left you to be with this queen of wands in reverse person they are definitely regretting it why why is lessons here for pile three they thought they were getting something special you know, and it could just be that that was their lesson that they needed to learn. Yeah. Lessons. They know where their happiness lies. So we definitely have a lot of fire energy showing up here. Um, heavy emphasis on Leo. Fire energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Why is lessons here? I'm hearing a hard lesson. <clears throat> And that's a hard lesson they had to learn. See, they want to come back. They see you as their happiness. And they want to come back, but they can't. <clears throat> or they feel like they can't. Page of Wands, they want to start over. <clears throat> they, want, they want to start over. More fire energy. <sighs> we'll get one more for lessons. Why is lessons here? I am picking up on some toxic energy between them and this third party that they're feeling trapped by. They're feeling trapped by a queen of wands in reverse energy here in a very unpleasant situation. It could be <clears throat> they're engaged to this person. could be that, you know, they paid already a lot of money into the pending wedding. And it's almost like, you know, they're what they call pot committed now. But they know where their happiness, their true happiness lies with you. They know that. And they would return to it if they could to start something brand new. 
but they're feeling trapped in this situation. I'm not picking up on any energy here where anyone's pregnant or anything like that, but it's almost like they feel like, you know, <laughs> they're pot committed. They would come back to you in a heartbeat. Look at that with the Eight of Wands. The lesson is that they've had to learn the hard way, I feel. <clears throat> I feel like they were, they had an intuition. They knew. What was the lesson that they needed to learn? All that glitters isn't gold. they needed to learn it was just a lesson they needed to learn loss They're having to see, like, I almost feel like they were, maybe the Queen of Wands energy in the reverse promised them a lot of things or made themselves out to be somebody that they weren't. Your person went by appearance alone, went, took this person at face value, maybe even rushed into something before they were really able to vet that person, right? With the Nine of Wands in reverse here, it's almost like they're losing that battle. Uh, this is a very hard lesson for them to learn. They're looking back and it feels like maybe things were, like the connection between you and them feels like it was natural. Magnetic, very attractive, very easily, like a flow. It flowed very easily between the two of you, you guys had a lot of fun together, right? this person now with this other third party that I feel they may be getting married to is a lot of work. It, it's taking a lot of their energy to make it work. And it's almost like another hard lesson they're going to have to learn is like, you know, um, It's okay to end something if it's not working out, no matter how much money or, or, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of hard lessons they're learning in this connection with this Queen of Wands and Reverse Energy here, okay? Man, all right, let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are their intentions? <clears throat> what are their intentions with Pile 3? What are their intentions with Pile 3? work together we got business here the world we got owl and then we have divine timing and I'm hearing your person is just waiting for the right time to come forward so we got business here with work entrepreneurship career moves working on your career success earning money through work we got the world with completing of a major or completion of a major milestone fulfillment time success fulfillment time success and then we got broadening your horizons end of a journey Owl with deep shadow work, witchcraft, magic, inner wisdom, spiritual evolution. And that's funny that this came, witchcraft, magic came on top of the Queen of Wands in reverse energy and on top of Trapped. We got divine timing, something you can't control, learn to let go, trust in. So like their intentions really are just to kind of, I don't feel like they have any intentions of coming forward in terms of like trying to resurrect something. I feel like. They're already, they got themselves in too deep on something. I really do feel like their energy, their intentions really are just to leave you alone. Learning the hard lessons. That's funny that came out. Learning the hard lessons because I've been saying that.
they are they do have this energy pile three like if because you still have a lot of influence like i said they think about they think back on you and this connection a lot they are for them i don't feel like they have completely closed out the possibility that the two of you may have something in their minds and in their heart they're like anything is possible if pile three and i are meant to be together it'll happen in divine timing right um let's see what their next move is going to be towards you if any what next moves <clears throat> Communication. Interesting. Look at that, you guys. We got communicate, transformation, detox on top of that owl, deep shadow work. Your person, so their next move, <clears throat> they're realizing if they have any kind of a chance with you in this connection or any whatever at all, it's like they realize their next move is to. I'm, I'm feeling like a spiritual level up or a soul energy level up. Like they're having to level up on <clears throat> like soul evolution, working on soul evolution, growing up, not just as a personality, but as a soul, right? And that could be like part of the hard lessons. That's what's triggering this inner transformation. And with transformation coming on top of engagement it very well could be your person may end up pulling the plug on this engagement after all you know detoxing cleansing al here talking about wisdom um with communicate here i mean they may be reaching out to you they may be feeling very nostalgic they may be dming you messaging you through social media sending you a text or even a phone call and expressing some kind of feelings or messages or news like maybe letting you know that, that the engagement or the relationship they have with this other third party is they called it off <clears throat> you know because they had an awakening they had a spiritual awakening they had a revelation but with this coming up on top of divine timing this could still be a while out right but we do have communication here with next move now when that next move is going to be it could be very soon especially with the eight of wands energy here is very quick there's a lot of fire energy here so realistically you guys it, you know you could be hearing from this person they could be popping up in your in your dms you know just feeling very nostalgic over the connection and them letting you know that they've grown up since the last time the two of you were dealing with each other letting you know that they've had revelations the way they treated you the way they handled things was not right um and that they're healing i rise up like a phoenix i, I raise up like a phoenix rising <laughs> interesting that also kind of gives me the energy of wanting to resurrect this connection. They want to resurrect and transform the connection they have with you. They may have come to a very soul level revelation. They may have, you know, that you, you are the one. You were the soulmate all, all along. You were their divine counterpart. I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. Right on top of communication. They may, that's what they may communicate with you. We got a lot of stuff here about enlightenment, transformation, um, spiritual awakening, lessons, okay? There was a very hard lesson that they needed to learn and I feel like they got it. They got it. Here we got, I feel so happy with you. They're realizing you were where it was at all along. They trust you. They may not trust this other person, especially with their energy showing up as the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, they could be, the Queen of Wands in reverse could be somebody that is, you know, very promiscuous. And not that 
promiscuity is bad. It just depends on the agreement, right? If you are in a committed, exclusive, you know, relationship with somebody and that's what you communicated, like it's just you and me and then the other person steps out and is, you know, that's not okay. That's when promiscuity is not okay, you know. People have open relationships and stuff like that. As long as it's it's agreed upon, then pro, you know that's promiscuity is all right. As long as you know you're being careful and you're being transparent, and you're being responsible. Well, let's get one more, please. Or two more. I want you. <laughs> that's what they're enlightened to. They 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 know you're the one they want. That's you. You're the one they want. But it says I can't be with you. I'm hearing right now. I can't be with you right now. Why? Because they got themselves. There's there was a lesson they needed to learn. They got trapped into an unpleasant situation. I feel like an engagement is popping off with them right now with this queen of wands in reverse energy. If they haven't learned their lesson fully yet, that's what's coming, okay? Um, so as far as like their next move is gonna be, I mean, expect communication from them at some point. They're gonna let you know that it should have been you all along. They made the wrong choice choosing this queen of wands energy in reverse over you if that's what happened. All right, you guys, pile three, I'm going to go ahead and close out your reading there. I hope that it resonated. If it did, do me a favor. Make sure you are smashing that like button for me. It's a wonderful way to energetically donate to the channel. Uh, comment below. Let me know what pile you picked. Let me know how it resonated. I'm always um, interested and, and fascinated and intrigued by hearing your guys' story. And, uh, and then share and subscribe if you feel led to do so. I'll see you guys at your next reading. Thanks, pile three.